Hey guys, what's up? Chef Easy in the mic. We have started some pickles. It's been about seven days now. And these pickles are looking super tasty. They're looking super great. Um, I'm not gonna open them just yet. They should be ready to go though. Like they're, they're on point. They're super delicious. I did have a couple of my apples. Um, they're all gone now. But that being said, we got the second round of pickles going on the pickling jars today and what we're gonna be doing spicy carrots and the carrots are gonna be mixed with um, some habaneros. I have, a, I have one of my good friends of mine loves eating spicy food so this is for him. And then my personal favorite beets that have been pickled and then I'm gonna throw in some ginger. Like I said man, it's been cold around LA. People are sick everywhere I go and I haven't gotten sick yet so I just wanna keep that good energy, the good the good vibes going for myself. Rattle. For this, I'm not gonna be using a knife. I'm gonna be using a mandolin. And uh, if you don't have one, Amazon has them, they're like 12 bucks. And this is probably gonna be one of the greatest investments you ever have. It comes with like different other blades. So you can like shred cabbage like beautifully. You can do like um, carrot like noodles and then you just literally slice them and it'll be like perfect. And so the recipe for the vinegar is the exact same one as the previous video. So if you need have any questions, refer to that video. Very straightforward recipe um, and just to make it clear, I'm using champagne white vinegar, but you guys can use anything you want. You guys can use sherry vinegar, white distilled vinegar. Um, I stay away from white distilled vinegar just because I just really don't like it. It tastes bad to me, you know? And no matter how much flavoring you add, like it doesn't work out for me, but you can use it if you wanna use that. I just like sticking to other types of vinegar. Um, even rice vinegar or rice wine vinegar works great for these and the higher end vinegars you get, the better. So for the beets, nothing to it. I bought them fresh in my local health store and I just peel them. Um, try not to get dirty. And then one, every time I do like beets, my hands will be stained for a couple days. Um, if you wanna use gloves, use them. The mandolin was, it's placed actually in a nice medium thick. Like I said, the pickling liquid is not hot, it's room temperature. And the reason why I do it this way, yes, it takes a little longer, but your pickles will be even tastier. The red beets are awesome, especially when you're making salad, um, adding some of these pickle beets elevate your salad so much more than just roasted or just blanched beets. Pickle beets are way better. And so basically, very carefully, I put the flat side in the palm of my hand, so like sticks, and I'm just gonna go slowly. And then always check the first few, make sure you, there's a nice consistency. And it is. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna slice. Spin around halfway through. Just by nature, it will like start curving as so. And so I just rotate it so I get my slice set even as possible. And with the beets, I'm not gonna rinse them off. I'm just gonna throw them directly on the pickling jar because I want all that juice. Um, once they're pickled and ready, the actual pickle pickling vinegar that will be added to these, they're really good to make other pickles. So if you're trying to pickle some like daikon, some, some ginger, you can make it, you can change the color, you can make it look pink and it's really pretty. And like I said, with the beets, I'm adding ginger because I want I want that. I want it. I want to stay healthy. Ginger is good for you. And with ginger, slice it like this. If you do it the wrong way, it will start kind of like shredding. And ginger, by nature, is very like has a lot of fiber. So if you're doing it, and it looks really weird. I'll show you. Both angles are right, but doing it this way, the texture will be better. And when you bite it, it will not feel like 
grainy. It's actually gonna be really good. It's gonna be crunchy. It's gonna taste honestly very similar to like sushi vinegar. You know, whenever you go to a sushi restaurant, they give you all that, all that ginger. They squeeze a lot of the natural like vinegar out. I, I personally like when it's there because it's a little more spicy and then it tastes better, in my opinion. Just careful, don't cut yourself. I've been using I've been using this little bad boy for a while, so I got the hang of it. If you're not so comfortable with it, use a safety rail that comes with it and you'll be fine. Let's go fast now. Make sure you guys rotate the beet so you get the beautiful slices. Right, once all the beets have been sliced, just to cover as well. lid and you let it sit you let it sit there guys now the beets because they are a tougher vegetable they do tend to take a little longer um, those will probably be in there a little longer than a week so give it about a week and three days and they should be ready they're gonna stay crispy they're gonna stay firm um, they're honestly really tasty to snack on by themselves um, I, I like making like nice little salads with this and just adding some beets, adding some of my previous cu cucumbers that we made, some apples, and it becomes a very interesting salad. Really good, really good also on sandwiches. I like I like make, making like grilled sandwiches with grilled vegetables, avocado, and then adding some pickled beets to the mix is perfect because you get beautiful mushy, like, like some of the sandwiches that I do, it has avocado, uh, sweet potato, so that by itself is already mushy and a little sweet because of the avocado, because of the uh, potato. But then you add the beets. It adds like a perfect crispy bitterness to the sandwich that's just unbelievable. So like, like I said guys, give it about a week and three days. And that should be good to go. Now for the second pickling that we're going to be doing today, this vegetable is one of my most favorite pickled item of them all. It's the carrot. Very simple, but the carrot goes a long way. Now, I'm gonna do it in a little medallion, so I went and bought like one jumbo carrot, and then a couple of habaneros, a really good buddy of mine. It's his birthday, he's coming up, and he loves eating spicy food. And whenever it's his birthday, I honestly make him a ton of spicy pickles. So I'll make him some carrots. Um, and so the carrots have been washed, and we're just gonna slice, and then, I'm not gonna clean the melon because I want that. I want that like nice little pinkish color from the beets. But as you can see, the beets I sliced them really paper thin because I want them to cook. Now for the carrots though, I'm gonna do a slightly thicker. Just gonna do about like about half a turn down. Let's see this one. A little better. See that. It's like, it's not, it's not a big difference, but it is a huge difference, especially for the pickling. And so we're, we're gonna slice these now. And whenever my parents are in town, they love when I make pickles, especially like these, these carrots. They like when they do jalapenos. Um, they just like everything that I pickle because they get to see it. They get to see how it's made and you know, when you cook at home, it's everything's honest cooking. There's no lying. So that's a that's a great thing. And then with the carrot, we're not gonna let it soak in water. We're not gonna run it through cold water. We're not gonna add any salt. If we add all those other ingredients, then the essence of the carrot is gone. And I personally like how carrot tastes, especially when it gets pickled. It gets this like beautiful, almost like licorice. Uh, flavor but it's still very very good now for the second one I want these pickles to have different dimensions I don't want it all to be just round um, at this point we're gonna add the habaneros now the habaneros you're gonna cut them in four okay don't touch the in the inside because your hands will burn 
So I'm just gonna cut them in four like so. Make sure you take the stem away. And like I mentioned in the previous video, when pickling everything in the house, guys, wash your vegetables thoroughly. That is key. Now these carrots are gonna be hella spicy. And then we're gonna add the remainder of the carrot on top. So the spiciness will spread evenly throughout the pickling process. The carrots will take about a week. The peppers will take a little longer, especially in doing this method where the liquid's not hot, so it'll be longer for, for the peppers to cook. But they are gonna be crunchy. They're gonna be super tasty, super bomb. Um, the second, or the first part of the carrot, um, I left it towards the end. And this one, instead of doing little medallions, we're gonna make nice little strips. And you're just gonna lay the carrot flat in the mandolin. You're just gonna slice all the way through. And this is how I do it in my restaurant. And the reason why I'm doing like this is because um, they're easier to handle, they're more interesting and appealing, and you get like nice, nice little shavings, and I like that. And go all the way down to the carrot. Make sure you get everything. That is key. These beautiful little wedges. Get the carrots, press them down, and you're gonna add your pickling liquid. Now, I wanna make these carrots look a little more special, and this is where the beet juice really comes in handy, and I love coloring my vegetables. I like I like making all my pickles be different colors. And the reason why is because they're, it's better, you know, it's funner to eat. It's actually really makes you like look like a badass chef. And then we just add some of that little beet juice in there. Seal that again. Seal the carrots. Make sure you spin around. So the carrots are gonna be like a beautiful blood orange. Habaneros are gonna be super spicy and they're super tasty. I'm not adding any salt or anything because the pickling base hasn't cooked it. I will add all that towards the end if I wanted to, but honestly guys, you don't need to. With this pickling base, you can pretty much pickle everything and it'll be like beautifully. So there you guys have it. Two pickles of the week, beets and carrots, spicy carrots, nice gingery beets. Good for you, good for the heart, good for the health. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment below, like, subscribe, share this video. Chevy Z out.